Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be returning to our normal beat of uh, demonstrating the best trading view indicator currently available. I've had a look at about 11 currency pairs and uh, I've picked out half a dozen or so that are worth looking at. So uh, let's get started. And uh, here we are in the Euro Japanese Yen on Thursday, the 28th of March at 9.42 a.m. UK time. Um, we've had a pressure point here and indicating that uh, we should be paying attention. We've had a little bit of uh, sideways action followed by a downward move and we've got uh, a confirmed downward trend. We've broken through the uh, support and resistance line from a few days ago. So there's very little to the left beyond that point and we can comfortably take a short. Now the interesting thing about that is that when you look at the general technical analysis indicators, the standard indicators, the free indicators that everybody uses, it's referring this market as a buy market, whereas our indicator is clearly showing this is a sell market and we've broken through the support and resistance. So let's uh, see how far we go. We'll have our stop just above, uh, just above this turning point here and uh, we'll move on from here. Speak to you later. Here on the Australian dollar, Japanese yen, we've got another perfect short market. We've uh, Clearly got a short trend. We've broken out of the support and resistance to the left and there's really nothing holding us back from going short from here. It's a clear short. Uh, you can run that with a trading stop or you could probably stop up there. Whatever you prefer to do. We'll keep an eye on that one and we'll come back later. Once again, I'd like to point out that the standard technical indicators, the free ones that everyone's touting on YouTube, are indicating this is a buying market. Doesn't look like that to me. We'll have to wait and see. Here in the British pound US dollar, we have a similar setup to other markets today, but we have more congestion to the left here. We'd really ideally like to see this market come out below 125750 before thinking about a short. At that point, the market will already have traveled a significant distance, so we may be in more difficulty. We'll have to wait and see. We'll come back later and have a look. In the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we've got a nice looking long setup coming here. We've had a long period of accumulation. We've had a pressure point, we're into an upward trend and we are about to break out of the previous high going back many days. So I quite like the look of a long on here. If we break out of the top of here, we'll certainly be looking to enter the market in a long position. I think even, let's just see what the standard, even the standard indicators agree on this occasion, although we don't really pay much attention to those generally. Let's wait and see what happens. I'll come back later. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, classic setup for this indicator here. We'll just reset this chart to get this all in picture. Okay, we have a pressure point. We've got the break of the pressure point. We've got the previous low. We have nothing to the left. We have a short trend. There's nothing to stop us going short as soon as we get through here. We, and putting our stop up above here. And we're clearly way in the money with nothing to worry about at all. We'll come back one to this one a bit later on as well. So it's now 10.34. We've had a retrace. We're coming back up to our... Uh, support resistance line where we will see that support becomes resistance and resistance becomes support so let's see what happens from here the we're still in a short trend as far as the indicator is concerned so we're not uh, rushing to dump our position and uh, of course the standard indicators are telling us this is a buy but we'll have to sit and wait for back later australian dollar japanese yen we're now at uh, 1309 market went through our support and resistance line. There's been a retrace. We have two options when it comes to this particular uh, position here. We've had, uh, we've had bars closing outside the previous low. You can either bring your stop right down to there, in which case you've just been stopped out for a 17 pip profit, or if, uh, if you're happy with the, the short trend, you can just bring us your trade level so you're not at any risk at all. That's all on that market for today, I think. British pound, US dollar. This is one where we didn't take the short this morning despite the long drop because there was a, a support and resistance line a little bit further down. I wanted to see that breach before I'd consider a short even though the market had moved a long way and we can see that we were right to do that. The market has subsequently turned quite substantially. We have a new pressure point. We're looking out on the long side but once we look to the left we can see we're not really interested in the long until we get up to the, up to the heights of here. I think that's uh, quite a lot uh, of movement today and I think it's very unlikely a trade will be triggered in this particular market today. Euro US dollar 11 minutes past one. Similar to the other markets except that the retrace didn't carry on down. Now when you have a retrace that turns 
back against you as soon as it breaks out of this top here close your trade off there's no need to carry on holding it even though we're still showing a short uh, short trend close your trade off there you can always go back in if the market then comes back down and goes below the previous low of the day we've got a new pressure point here telling us that something is going to occur we've had a long period of of consolidation there accumulation we'll have to wait and see how this market appears but we'll be out here with a very small profit hardly anything at all really to speak of um, but at least no serious losses there okay 1304 in the euro japanese yen we've had some interesting um, alterations we've had uh, this was a support line which was broken it then became a resistance line and this became the support line as soon as we saw this happen and the market unable to go through this lower support line and break through this congestion we have to level our stop up straight away and bang we're out level um at the most we're going to if we'd left our stop where we would originally had it after this uh, retrace then we we're a couple of pips out of the money but um no loss no foul this was easily telegraphed and easy to avoid a, a substantial loss well there we are that was a, an interesting batch of markets today we had a day today where things didn't go the way we expected and yet with some sensible management we were able to get out of our positions either with no loss at all with a level trade or with a, a few pips profit it's very very important to be able to adjust your opinions when the market changes without panicking i hope you found that very interesting now, if you're interested in finding out more about this particular indicator as usual there is a link in a pinned comment just below the video uh, feel free to follow it and uh, get yourself a free training course from the guy that spent 25 years developing this. If you don't have TradingView, which you'll need to run this particular uh, indicator, then there's also a link for you to get yourself a free trial copy. At the moment, they're offering huge discounts on their Easter sale to uh, get yourself on board with TradingView. It'll be certainly worth your while to follow that. That's all for today. Thanks very much for watching.